Not all the time do clients recognize me as being a survivor from Columbine unless they recognize my name or some people will actually say, you know what, you look, you look your name sounds really familiar. Um, have I met, have we met before? So sometimes they remember back or think back to, um, you know, the media with the Columbine shootings and, and my recovery process and because I was, um, one of the more, I guess, severely injured students, it, it was in more of the limelight of what actually happened at Columbine and the, and the shootings and the recovery from, from that. So it's really through those experiences where I've had the opportunity to, you know, one, recover, take back uh, my life and get to a point where I can now give back to the community in, in my own way by helping them, helping my community build for their financial futures. Yeah, exactly. I think there's a couple things that I've learned through through my experiences and through Columbine is that I, I have a belief that the world is still good at heart. And there's still good people out there and it's still good to be done. Um, and that, you know, with hard work and perseverance, we can overcome a lot of those challenges that we see on a daily basis. Uh, and the third piece really is just the fact that you can choose how to wake up each day and how to live your life of choosing to be a victor. And so I had to take on that attitude early on just to be able to recover and be able to spend seven months in physical therapy, uh, speech therapy, relearning how to read and write and walk and talk and just getting back to a point where I could, uh, you know, live as full of a life as possible. I think building the right habits is huge. Being able to come in with a, a great attitude, but the habits that will allow you to be successful long term. Uh, so depending on the business model or your structure, uh, you know the habits of phoning and prospecting on a daily basis and, and refilling your pipeline, re refilling the lifeblood of your business, uh, consistently uh, phoning, consistently prospecting consistently having a certain number of meetings that are scheduled and kept per day. Uh, it's all about discipline. So we see the people who are challenged the most and who decide that this isn't the career for them are the ones that generally don't develop the daily habits and the discipline that it takes to be successful long term. Well gosh, I can remember back to when I first started and I know this wasn't that long ago but within the past 10 years I've gone from you know, being able to sit down with a client and just brainstorming on new introductions and people who they think would be good for me to reach out to, uh, that they have good rapport with, that they, they think highly of, and not knowing if they'd be in the market for what it is that I do, uh, just wanted to build relationships. Through LinkedIn and different social media and things like that, that's made our industry and, and our ability to prospect and get new uh, connections a lot easier uh, and brainstorming about those recommendations has made it you know much 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 simpler to get a consistent um, new new grouping of people to reach out to um, I, th I on average I would say my sweet spot is anywhere from 35 to 55 uh, leading up to kind of that retirement red zone um, and the opportunity to work with people who may already have existing advisors, but I can help out or add value in an area that has yet to have been addressed. The other thing that I've found a lot of value in, or that hopefully my clients have found a lot of value in, is that uh, especially the ones that have had existing relationships with other advisors, if they're the same age as their advisor and they're leading up to retirement, I'm coming into the game and coming into their world, their relationship, with some perspective that, you know what, I'm gonna be in this for another 30 years and I'm gonna be your guy that's gonna help get you through the distribution phase of your retirement rather than retiring alongside with you. And so being able to have and build those relationships early and know that, that I can be the person that's gonna help them not only up to retirement but through retirement is gonna be, or has been, uh, a key for my practice.